Computer scientist Leonard Kleinrock arrived at UCLA in 1963, fresh from receiving his PhD from MIT. Kleinrock's research was on data networking and packet switching. Well, the underlying technology of the internet is packet switching. That's the way your messages, your videos, your voice, your pictures, your data are transmitted in little chunks called packets. So a long message is broken up into smaller packets. Each packet is addressed and sent through the network like a bunch of postcards carrying a long letter, independently making their way through the network, arriving at the other end, being put back together again, and delivered to you as an entity, as a longer message. In the late 1960s, the Advanced Research Project Agency decided that UCLA, under Kleinrock's leadership, would become the first node of the ARPANET, a fledgling network of computers connected to various research universities across the country. The first switch, known as an interface message processor, arrived on Labor Day weekend 1969. The switch was connected to a host computer at UCLA on September 2nd. You might say on September 2nd that infant internet, that one node, took its first breath of life in that it was born and met the outside world, which was in the form of our timeshare computer. But one node does not make a network. One month later, a second switch was delivered to Stanford Research Institute. Then on October 29th, 1969, right here at UCLA on the third floor of Belter Hall, Kleinrock's group attempted to log in to the node at Stanford Research Institute. This would be the first message sent on the internet. Now to log in, we have to type L-O-G, and the remote computer is smart enough to know what we're trying to do. It types the I-N for us. So I had Charlie Klein at my end, and Mr. Duval at the other end, programmers, and I instructed Charlie to type in the L-O-G, and he had a telephone connection with, with Duval. So Charlie typed the L. He said, did you get the L? Yep, got the L. Typed the O. Got the O? Got the O. Typed the G, you get the G? <laughs> Crash. The SRI computer crashed. So the first message ever on the internet was low, as in lo and behold. We didn't plan it, but we could not have come up with a better message. Short, prophetic, planning what the future would be. In the early days of the internet, Kleinrock directed the Network Measurement Center at UCLA Engineering, designed to test, measure, and stress the limits of the emerging network. We tried to break the network. We sent lots of traffic to individual sites. We sucked up a lot of traffic ourselves. We basically tried to send strange messages, heavy messages, to test the outer envelope of the network. That was our job. And we did. We found out just what the network was capable of, where it would break, what we would need to extend its capabilities. In 45 years at UCLA, Leonard Kleinrock has graduated 47 PhD students, and more are still in the pipeline. Getting a PhD is learning how to do research. And so, as their mentor, as their supervisor, it's my responsibility to make sure they have the right approach to doing research. We must teach our students to take a long-term view on research, not a short-term, narrow view, but a long-term, broad view, innovative, dangerous, and exciting. That's the kind of mentality you want to carry on generation after generation. For his pioneering work on the technological foundation of the internet, and for mentoring generations of outstanding computer scientists, Leonard Kleinrock received the National Medal of Science in September 2008. The medal is the nation's highest scientific honor. For more than 40 years, UCLA professor Leonard Kleinrock has been a leader, an innovator, a scholar, and a mentor in the computer science field. His pioneering internet work at UCLA Engineering has a global reach and will have a long-lasting impact. The UCLA Henry Samueli School of Engineering and Applied Science, the birthplace of the internet. <laughs>